learners, I'm Teacher Billy, your teacher in Science 5. How are you today? I hope you are doing well while we learn together our lesson and have a learning adventure in science. Today, I will guide you do the activities in your module so you can describe weather disturbances in the Philippines and describe their effects to daily life. Get your pencil and your module in Science 5, Week 3, entitled Describing the Condition of the Environment Before, During, and After a Typhoon. Are you ready? Before we proceed to our exciting activity for today, let's find out how much you already know about the topic in what I know. Here are the directions. Directions. Find out how much you already know about the topic. Choose and encircle the letter of your answer on your module. Number one. Which of the following is an environmental condition before a typhoon? Letter A. There is a heavy rain accompanied by strong wind. Letter B. The clouds in the sky are high and dark. Letter C. The sky is clear and the sun brightly shines. Letter D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter B. Number 2. Which of the following is a condition of the environment during a typhoon? Letter A. The humidity is high. Letter B. Many people are moved to evacuation areas. Letter C. Floods and landslides happen in some places. Letter D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter C. Number 3. Which of the following is observed in the environment after a typhoon? Letter A. Some people are affected by diseases such as influenza and dengue. Letter B. The wind blows gently and there are scattered rain showers. Letter C. Big waves in the coasts of oceans are observed. And letter D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter A. Let's have number 4. In what stage of a typhoon were flash floods and landslides happen? Letter A, after. Letter B, before. Letter C, during. And letter D, no answer. The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. The following are observed before a typhoon except one. Which among the following is an exception? Letter A. Big clouds are risen to the sky. Letter B. The relative humidity is high. Letter C. The air is dry and cold. And letter D. There is strong wind and heavy rain. The correct answer is letter D. Did you get all the correct answers? If yes, very good. If not, it's okay. Let's learn them today. Let's recall your previous lesson. Answer the matching type regarding weather conditions. Read the words in column A and match the meaning from column B. Write your answer before each number on your module. Column A has the following items. Number 1. Weather disturbance. Number 2. Weather. Number 3. Climate. 
Number four, weather forecast. And number five, tropical cyclone. Column B has also the following choices. Letter A, it is a condition of the atmosphere for a short period of time. Letter B, another terminology for typhoon. Letter C, it refers to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition. Letter D, the usual weather condition in a place. And letter E, it refers to predicting the conditions of the atmosphere for a given place and time. You will have one minute to answer this activity. Let's check if you can really recall your previous lesson. The correct answer for number one is C. Number two is A. Number three is D. Number four is E. And number five is B. Yay! We are done in what's in. We are now ready to our new lesson. This time, let's see if you are familiar with words that are related to weather. Directions There are 10 hidden words that are related to weather. Find them by connecting the letters horizontally, vertically, and even diagonally. Encircle the words that you find on your module. Here is the word puzzle. You'll have 2 minutes to find the words. Let's check if you find all the words related to weather. 
This can be in any order. The words are wind, rain, hurricane, landslide, tropical, waves, ocean, cloud, coast, and storm. Were you able to look for the hidden words? Maybe some of the words are familiar and some are not. You will be able to encounter and understand them as you go through this lesson. Let's take a look on the weather condition of certain places before the typhoon. Before a tropical cyclone or commonly known as typhoon, high clouds are observed in the sky. The air is dry and cold since most of the warm air has already risen. The relative humidity or moistness of air is high. The wind blows gently and scattered rain showers may occur. During a tropical cyclone or typhoon, the sky is dark and cloudy. Heavy rainfall accompanied by strong winds occurs. Big waves are also observed near the coast. When these waves become high due to high ocean tides, a storm surge occurs. Flash floods may also occur due to heavy rainfall. Landslides may be triggered by flash floods and heavy rains. Some trees and crops may be uprooted because of strong winds. In order to determine how strong the typhoon is, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA issues public storm warning signals or we call PSWS. This picture shows the environmental condition during a typhoon. We should also be aware on the strength of typhoon entering the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR, as well as the impact of winds and the precautionary measures which should be done. Let's learn them one at a time. Public storm warning signal number one has the following environmental condition. A tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds move at a speed of 30 to 60 km per hour, may be expected in at least 36 hours. Continual or on and off rain is expected within 36 hours. The impact of the wind were branches of small trees may be broken, some banana plants may be tilted, some houses of light materials like nipa and pugon may be partially unroofed. Only very light damage to the exposed community. People are advised to listen to the latest weather forecast of Pag-asa. Public storm warning signal number two has the following environmental condition. A tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds move at a speed of 61 to 120 km per hour and may be expected in at least 24 hours. The impact of the wind were some coconut trees may be tilted or broken. Few big trees may be broken. Many banana plantations may be down. Rice and corn may be adversely affected. Large number of nipa and kugon houses may be partially or totally unroofed. Some galvanized iron roofs may be peeled off. In general, the winds may bring moderate damage to the exposed community. Outdoor activities of children should be postponed. Public storm signal number three has also the following environmental condition. A tropical cyclone will affect the locality. 
winds move at a speed of 121 to 170 km per hour and may be expected in at least 18 hours. The impact of the wind were many coconut trees may be broken or destroyed, almost all banana plants may be down, and a large number of trees may be uprooted. Majority of houses made in light materials may be unroofed or destroyed. There may be widespread disruption of electrical power supply and communication services. In general, moderate to heavy damage may be experienced, particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. Public Storm Warning Signal Number 4 has the following environmental condition. A very intense typhoon will affect the locality. Winds move at a speed of 171 to 220 km per hour and may be expected in at least 12 hours. The impact of the wind were coconut plantations may suffer extensive damage. Many large trees may be uprooted. Rice and corn plantations may suffer severe damage. Most residential and institutional buildings made from mixed construction materials may be severely damaged. Electrical power and communication services may be severely disrupted. Overall, damage to affected communities can be very heavy. Disaster coordinators are fully alert to respond emergencies. Public storm warning signal number 5 has the following environmental condition. A super typhoon will affect the locality. Winds move at a speed of 220 and above km per hour and is expected in at least 12 hours. The impact of the wind were widespread damage to high-risk structures, complete roof failure on many residences and industrial buildings, electrical power distribution and communication services severely disrupted. Most plants and tall trees are broken, uprooted or defoliated. All kinds of travels and activities should be cancelled. This picture shows the environmental condition after a super typhoon. When a tropical cyclone is over, the sun becomes visible and the sky becomes clearer. There might be scattered rain showers. Some areas may be still flooded and recovering from the typhoon. Rescue and relief operations are also ongoing. There might be outbreak of waterborne diseases, influenza, and dengue. You have learned the conditions of the environment before, during, and after a typhoon. Now answer the following questions. Number one. What do we observe in our environment before a typhoon? Number two, what about during a typhoon? Number three, just after a typhoon, why is it that it's not safe for children to go to school? Number four, as residents, what are the things we should do to stay safe before, during, and after the typhoon? Number five, why is it important to observe weather condition? You can pause this video for you to answer these questions. You can write your answer in another sheet if there is no space on your module. We describe the environmental condition before, during, and after a tropical cyclone in our discussion. Now, you are going to check your understanding of the lesson you have learned. Activity 1 has the following directions. 
Study the pictures, match the photo to its correct description, and write the letter of your choice before the number. Column A has the following items. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 And number 5. Column B has also the following choices. Letter A. This environmental condition happens after a tropical cyclone. There are casualties and rescue operations are being done. Letter B. This condition happens during a super typhoon. Some roof are blown by the strong wind. Letter C. This condition happens after a typhoon. People move to evacuation centers because their houses or residences are flooded. Letter D. This condition happens after a typhoon. People, especially children in the exposed community, suffer from waterborne diseases. Letter E. This situation happens before a typhoon. Dark sky is observed and it seems it is about to rain. You can always pause this video for you to answer this activity. If you are done, you can play again this video to check your answers. Let's check if you got all the correct answer. Number 1 is letter... C. Number 2, the correct answer is letter E. Number 3, the correct answer is letter A. Number 4, the correct answer is letter B. And number 5, the correct answer is letter D. Okay, we are done with Activity 1. Let's proceed to Assessment 1. Assessment 1 has the following directions. Study each photo, then identify the storm signal that affected the area, whether it is storm signal number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, or signal number 5. Write your answer on... Let's check if you get all the correct answer. Number one is signal number two. Number two is signal number four. Number three is signal number three. Number four is signal number five. And number five is signal number one. We are done in what's more. Don't go away. We have more exciting activity after we sum up what we have learned. Here are the words that make the sentences correct in what I have learned. Before a tropical cyclone or commonly known as typhoon, high clouds are observed in the sky. The wind blows gently and scattered rain showers may occur. During a typhoon, the sky is dark and cloudy. Heavy rain accompanied by strong winds occurs. In the ocean, when these waves become high due to high ocean tides, a storm surge occurs. Landslides may also occur due to heavy rainfall. How did you find the preceding activities? Were they easy? I'm sure they were. In the next activity, you are going to apply the lessons you have learned in real-life situations. Directions Put a check mark to the sentence that is stating correct preparedness before, during, and after a typhoon. And put a wrong mark if it is incorrect. Write your answer on the blank before each number. 
Number one, Mang Ose is a farmer. He observed the sky is dark and it seems it is about to rain. The wind is moist and cold. He then turned on his radio and listened for weather forecast. The correct answer is check. Number 2. Mila is a kindergarten pupil. They do not have class because their area is affected by the typhoon Ompong with signal number 1. There was little rain, so she went to play with their neighbor. The correct answer is wrong. Number 3. The Dulnuan family planned to hold a birthday celebration in a resort this Saturday. However, the weather forecaster announced that a typhoon is coming and will be affecting the area where the Dulnuan family lives. So, they postponed their planned family occasion. The correct answer is check. Bogan's family lives in the middle of their field. They do not have TV or radio or phone to get latest update about Typhoon. One Monday, she woke up early to prepare for school, but she noticed that there was a heavy rain and a strong wind. She looked around and realized that there is a Typhoon. So, she decided not to go to school. The correct answer is check. Number 5. Archie and Karil are in grade 5. They live far from school. When it is rainy during school days, they always think there is typhoon. Therefore, they always get absent from class. The correct answer is wrong. How did you fare with this activity? Did you get a perfect score? Very good! That means you understand our lesson for today. Now that you have a wider understanding of the topic, you are now ready to answer the following assessment. Directions. Read each statement carefully. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one. The following are observed before a typhoon except one. Which among the following is an exception? Letter A, big clouds are risen to the sky. Letter B, the relative humidity is high. Letter C, the air is dry and cold. Letter D, there is strong wind and heavy rain. The correct answer is letter D. Number 2. Which is not observed during a typhoon? Letter A. Rescue and relief operations are ongoing. Letter B. Flash floods may occur due to heavy rain. Letter C. There are high ocean tides and storm surge. Letter D. Trees and crops may be tilted or uprooted. The correct answer is letter A. Number 3. Which of the following is observed in the environment after a typhoon? Letter A. Some people are affected by diseases such as influenza and dengue. Letter B. The wind blows gently and there are scattered rain showers. Letter C. 
big waves in the coasts of oceans are observed. Letter D, all of the above. The correct answer is letter D. Number 4. Which of the following is a condition of the environment during a typhoon? Letter A. The humidity is high. Letter B. Many people are moved to evacuation areas. Letter C. Floods and landslides happen in some places. Letter D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. After a typhoon, what is usually observed in the surrounding? Letter A. Many people are brought to evacuation centers. Letter B. Some areas are flooded and devastated. Letter C. People may suffer from waterborne diseases. Letter D. All of the above.